kids, I'm in the kitchen again today, and we're going to do something different. We're going to make some homemade butter. Let me show you what I got out for the cook. So basically, all you need is a mixer and some heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to put that in the bowl and start it up. Okay, so I've dumped all the cream in there. This is just a pint, and we're going to turn the mixer on a very, very low speed, and we'll be checking back in periodically, and I'll let you know how this goes. Okay, it's been five minutes. I've mixed this on a level two, and I want to show you what's happening, if you can see this. This is starting to turn into like what you would call a heavy whipping cream type topping. See how it doesn't stick, it sticks to your spatula. So we're just going to keep going, and I'll check back here in another few minutes. Okay, it's been another three minutes, and we have the stiff peaks, if you can see that. That's what would be great on like fruit and stuff like that. And all I'm doing is just pulling it off of the sides of the bowl and list, still mixing on like a level two on the mixer. So I'm going to put it back on and the next changes we should start to see the color changes. And this it starts to turn into butter. Okay, I'm 18 minutes in and what has happened is all of a sudden all of this has started to shrink and congeal which means we're getting really, really close to butter and the color of the milk has changed starting to turn yellow so we're going to keep mixing this again on a, a two and continue on until it gets into the butter stage okay we're about 18 minutes in and we're so close i've put an apron on because soon this is going to separate into the curds and the buttermilk so we're going to have butter curds and we're going to have buttermilk really really shortly and right now i'm going to add just a smidgen of salt just to help as a preservative but i'm trying to do too much because i want this as an all salted bolter so that i can use it better for cooking Okay, we're about 20 minutes in, and I want to show you what's going on here, if you can see that. Can you see that down there? We're getting our butter curds, and that's our uh, buttermilk that's coming out of the milk liquid, the heavy cream. So we're really, really close to having this finished. And all I've been doing is just wiping it down off of the sides of the bowl and keep mixing it on a number two. I might have to turn it down here so I don't get splattered with butter, but this is what we're doing. Okay, we're at about 22 to 23 minutes, and this is what we have. See our butter curds, see our buttermilk. So what I do now is I want to get a quart jar, and I'm going to strain the butter milk off of the butter so that I can then wash the butter. Okay, I've taken the, the butter and the buttermilk out of it. I put it in a strainer, I'm just letting it drain. And then I'm going to rinse this butter off in some clear water uh, just to rinse off any extra buttermilk. We don't want to put it away with extra buttermilk into it. It'll allow it to spoil later on. So we're just going to let that drip for a little bit, and then we're going to wash the butter and make it into some nice big blocks of butter. Okay, so I've got the uh, butter in my strainer over by my sink, and I'm just going to rinse it with some nice cold water until the water comes out clean into the sink, and then it'll be ready to mold. Okay, so I've washed the butter. And now I'm just going to let it drain. Um, it looks really good, but I want to make sure all the extra water comes out of it. So I just got it sit in my sink until it stops dripping, and then we'll make the uh, patties that we want. Okay, so the butter has drained fully. I got out my scale because I just wanted to see how much a pint of heavy cream would give us in butter. So I already have about a cup, not quite a cup, maybe three-fourths of a cup or so of buttermilk we got out of that. Now we'll see how much butter we get. Okay, got it on the scale, and it looks like we have near seven ounces of butter, or let's see, turn it out to milliliters. So uh, 473 milliliters of heavy cream gave us 194 milliliters of butter. So anyhow, I'm going to flatten it down, make some um, either patties or little small bricks I can put in the freezer. And then we're going to use this for things like biscuits and bread and cooking and all that kind of stuff. So if you try this, let me know how it turns out for you. And I hope you enjoy. Be blessed. So I want to mention that as you start working your butter and forming it into whatever little blocks or bricks or whatever, you're going to get more buttermilk out of it. And that is good. So just keep working it until you don't get much buttermilk out of it. You can still put it back in your container there so you'll have more of it for later on. Yeah, that's what I've got there. And then, um, then you can form your little blocks or bricks or patties or whatever you want to use. So, But anyhow, enjoy. The, the more buttermilk you can get out of that, the better because the buttermilk will have a tendency to sour the butter later on 
Um, I could have worked this into a bowl of, of um, water and squeezed more of that out of there, but I chose not to. If you choose to do that, that's probably great too, but just working extra buttermilk out of that uh, and the moisture out of it will help your butter stay longer. Okay kids, after making butter now about three or four times, I think I have finally worked out the best way to make those butter um, purified out from the buttermilk and to form it better. So let me show you what I've decided we're gonna to try it again uh, to do. This works best from what I can recall my mom showing me when I was a kid, but we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. Okay, this is what the butter looks like when you get it done uh, turning from your hand mixer. There's a little bit of buttermilk left there, you can see. I could drain it off a of fan too, but I'm not going to. So now what I'm gonna do is try to get as cold, cold water I could from the sink. Or you could probably put this down in an ice bath. Uh, but the main thing is to chill it so that we can get it formed into a ball and work out the buttermilk into the water and rinse it out really well. Okay, I got the water cold. I just want to fill this up here in the sink and gently just loosen this a little bit away from the side and try to break it up a bit. And let that set for just a minute. Now what I've been doing is just rolling this up in a ball, squeezing it in the water just like we would make bread dough. And I'm about ready for the first rinse. See how it's sticking together? And we're getting all the good stuff. All those little butter bits. This is what I got after our first wash. And I've got some cold water running over here again. Just gonna fill the bowl back up again. And again, massage that butter ball so that we can get any more buttermilk fits into the butter released back into the water so we can clean it. Okay, here we are. We're back after the second wash. As you can see, the water is not that milky from the buttermilk. So we're going to drain this off and do it one more time. Okay, here we go for our third wash. Again, ice cold water. Let's see what this looks like now. Well, there's virtually nothing coming out in the water. Okay. Okay, well this is great then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it in the water for now until this piece of butter right there. I wanna get it back in there. I'm gonna just leave this in the bowl here for just a moment and while I prep um, my workspace to be able to roll this out and to make it into little tiny loaves for in the freezer. Okay, so I've moved my butter over to my cutting board covered with a piece of parchment paper. And I'm just going to roll it a little bit to see if there's any excess water in it. It doesn't look like there is hardly any, which is good. So I'm just going to fold it into a nice uh, square here and cut off some chunks and lay it into my parchment paper squares I have over here so I can stick them in the freezer. So in case you're curious, this was eight ounces of heavy cream. And we're going to put it on our scale here. Yep, you can't see it, can you there? Let's see what it says. So, 8 ounces of heavy cream gave us about 7 ounces of um, butter, which is cool. That's great. Uh, this was a different brand than the original video. Uh, this time, I'll, well, I'll have to go get the jug. I'll show you which one I used. Okay, this particular batch was made with uh, some heavy cream from the local store. Uh, the other one was from another local store, but I think you just need to try it different times with different kinds to come out, come out whatever you like. It might taste different. We might less see, but we'll find out. Okay, well there you got it. I got my little pieces of squares of butter that I'm going to wrap up and put in the freezer, and I'll have them ready for whenever I need something for breakfast or something to bake in. This has no salt in it, so I can use it for any kind of cooking I want without if impacting the salt levels. So, if, if you give it a try, uh, let me know how it turns out for you. And uh, if you use a different brand of heavy cream, that would be interesting to know. But uh, I hope you enjoy. Well, there you have it. My different two ways of trying to make homemade butter with different types of heavy cream. Some yields better than others. I don't know why. There might be some of the additives that are in it. It's really hard to find organic heavy cream that doesn't have anything else added in it unless you know farmer which would probably be the best way to get it anyway, uh, if you could. But 
this has turned out really well. I'm going to stick them in the freezer and have them ready for later. I hope you enjoy. Be blessed.